Hey guys, Zorgo here with another YouTube video. In today's video we play Jendis, a great hero that got a bit weaker since they took out Titanta, but I think quests gave her some edge again in the meta because some quests rely on playing better cries or around playing a specific card and Jendis has the one advantage that she can actually cycle a card double together with the Ellie cat, uh, advantage that she can build in the early game. So without more talk, I hope you enjoy the game and if you do, make sure to leave some feedback for me because I just started editing and I would really appreciate if you enjoy the current uh, editing stuff. How you do you make your game faster? Ch choose high and choose this to high, then you should be good to go. Or buy a better PC for it. One of those three things. Set of fresh opponents. Are you ready? It ain't that easy. You can also go to the text files and uh, change FPS. But I noticed, like I since I uh, installed Hearthstone like three times, when you change this to high, it will automatically do that in the text file anyways and change the FPS there too. So you don't need to do that manually anymore, but you can double check if you want. Don't tell the others. I'm with you. Does that make leap first jump faster? I mean it speeds up all animations. You can also watch my YouTube videos. You, there you will also notice the uh, faster animations because of the clean uh, editing. Hashtag it. Yeah, that's actually annoying. Like I would love to swap the swabby, but I lose like stats on this sometimes. And I don't want to lose stats on that. And then I want to roll for Ellie Cat. Quite the annoying situation. Okay, I will just buy this. Nah, no 50-50 bro. That's too much. <laughs> if I lose that 50-50, I fuck myself so hard. No vaults? I mean, it doesn't even advance my game plan too much, to be fair. Like, that 50, winning that 50-50 is only relevant if I um, hit Salamento, right? Raw. Me, personally, never taking... Uh, Tip on that spot. I feel like you set, sell yourself short if you do that with Jandis in that spot. Jandis is kind of also OP OP with quests because you can kind of cycle better quests, you can cycle beast cards that are good. She has some potential. Untapped potential I would like to call it even. Yeah, so knowledgeable and so helpful. Thank you for the great advice. Thanks for the kind words. Let's see. Lose a tie to combat. That's quite hard, my friend. And Shalga. Dude, what? V string elemental pirate quiver? Dude, what is this, man? Anti synergy. Again. Snicker snicker. Chaga. Dude, the thing is, the Chaga comes online so late, man. My. Might as well start next game in that time. Like it's so late and it it's also useless. Like there's no velvet, there's no so there's no demons that I can combo it with. There's only this card. And more chalgas that I can combo it with. And it's so hard to do. But the thing is this is also really hard to do. Like it's impossible for me to do the red hand. Is it snicker snicker? It's either snicker snicker or chalga for late game. But Snicker Snicker is so weak too, as an option. Wait, did I do bad order? No shot, right? I did great order, yeah. One for the Chroma Wings deadline you look for, for to beat Bublet. Big brain play. Play it around Bublet. This fucker gets pilfered lambs. Meanwhile, I should do this right. It is too good after all.
Eh. I guess I keep a 2-2. Two -two. Is a 2-2 two -two better here? Ah, probably not. What does he have to do? Probably like... Uh, ah, it's actually at least hard. For once. I feel like sometimes the quest is way too easy most of the times. Like, it's like buy nine minions or something for win the game. At least he has to work for it. Okay. I can't do shit with the cut guy here, right? Unfortunately. Well, now the cut guy is quite useful. I can sell those tokens again. It's basically the same, anyways. Then go for two sixes next turn. I mean, I can also just freeze and reduce some damage. Can triple tipper? I mean, I have to sell tipper. Fuck tipper. Like, economy-wise, I can't do shit with it. Hopefully he loses the spawn flip. Big. No scaling for you, sir. The roach. Are you strong for this turn? No. But I will be strong next turn. Isn't that enough? Hopefully I will be strong. <laughs> Back in my days, those were 10 triples. Lieutenant himself? How about this? And then I play this, and then I triple this next turn again. And then I go for Chalga. Unless I roll Pumba here. Might change my plan a bit. Why am I ordering weak to strong? Yeah. Major Domo, my end boss. I will get my Chalga soon and then we spike. I mean, I can see if I roll more shit, right? That's good. Go ahead and hire one of That's big. I like Three. That. I don't know if I keep gold run. Probably not. Feel like back in the days, man. Nostalgic trip here. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we hit. Two Chalgas. Mantid. I wanted to see if I hit Koila too here. Yeah. Amalgam, I guess. The good thing is if I keep the smogger, I can rotate it if I have nothing better to swap. He's getting rd would Saya to wait. <laughs> I mean his quests are not that good, honestly. That he ate. Why do you guys boom on me, dude? Play, play it better. I have to use this, this thing. Don't boomer me. Nice work out there. That wasn't a boomer moment. It was a five head moment. It was a gamer moment. A god gamer moment even. If I may say so myself. If I'm allowed to say that. That is. If you don't mind. I 
I could hit this triple, that's what I aim for, yeah. <laughs> It's kind of funny. Dude, imagine I would overdraw here and then the Chaga just disappears because it's glitched. That would be the saddest moment of our lives. Especially for you guys. You would hate to see it, right? I would be fine with it, but you guys would hate to see it. I guess Kelly is okay. I guess Kelly goes as odd. Quite the army you're building, friend. And I'm being my You are not a resistant. You can still make a comeback. Never nosy. Nosy the end. That's a combo that we go for. I can actually force Pumba with this. It's kind of broken, actually. Nein! Warum sind Beasts da drin? Nein! Dude, I saw Beasts out! Worst moment of all of our times. Oh, how sad is that, man? How sad is that? This guy goes, right? But we try anyways. A good tactical choice. Wrong beast. I'm afraid another whole guy here, actually. False champ. Oh, Peak. Ja, Junge, Alter, fick dich doch. Was ist das denn für eine Scheiße? Give me back my man to Queen. I got robbed. Not minion, where are you going for? I was going for a guy there. If I hit it, I could force infinite. And a gamma gamma. Dude, what? The one time you want to roll it down for one card, man. Every roll is a hit with Chambi winner ticket all of a sudden. Hopefully I don't lose this flip. No shot. Fuck! I can't run Elder, man. I already have Golden Bran. Makes no sense. <laughs> I was hoping for a Chalga, though. It's fine. Elder Oga combo selling? Yeah, I have Golden Brand. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's way too slow. Killed me again? Don't play my games. That happens. Cake W. I should go for Hydra, right? Rolium for Hydra? Once I hit it, I sell something.
Oh. I'm looking for a Hydra. Hopefully I find the 3-3 three, three guy. Better cry guy and can discover Hydra. Yeah, the Leroy and a big unit. Both things scare me a bit. Especially the Leroy. Fucking dog blocker man, minimum damage. Hit the SPR. Come, Junge. Come, come, come. Fine. I think I keep the gems from Trolga, though. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> That's so funny, actually. <laughs> the scaling feels unbeatable. I mean, I can lose to this. Pilfer Lambs probably has like Golden Baron. Oh, I'm looking for the 3 3 though and Hydra. Scarl is also strong, actually. Not as strong as me, but pretty strong. Getting force with that and taking 26. Is that dangerous? Only 19? The thing is, I don't know what Beast Comp he runs. I assume he runs Goldrun Comp, which Cyclone is really good against. Should level though. Another Mantid Queen? Wait, <laughs> didn't even realize that. This can be good. I think I shouldn't show him a zap though. On this turn at least. Because then he will play around Zep the next turn. And I need to win two rounds anyways. I might need this though. All this. Could transform stats into second cyclone. Depending on what comp he runs. What would Zep do? Kill Leaper twice. Quite useless. But after his Goldrin hits, his Golden Goldrin, hmm. then it kills Baron. Yep. Solves the threat. Nice front to back fight. But he only needs one Baron to hit Golden Baron. Yeah, left to right combat is annoying. I should still buy Cyclone also for a Golden Cyclone. 
Ooh, that's really good. I can run Hydra into... This is useless. I can run Hydra into... Uh, Zap, right? But I have to ult the Zap again, right? The thing is, the Zap it won't be big enough on this turn. I need to wait the turn to make it big enough. Keep up the momentum, friend. You're doing great out there. Zap is gold if you can golden it. Yeah, but I don't think I need to go for that. I think all I need to do is like next turn buy a, a Necrolite if I find one and uh, buff my Zap for a bit so it, it's like 15 breakpoint then open Hydra and that should be enough because you also have to think now how to position around Zap right uh, around Hydra right it will be hard for him to p play around everything I do Also, one really insane thing about the Bar Hydra here in general is a Hydra is really strong against Leapers in this kind of situation where like three big reds are in the end or two big ones, then you can cleave both of them instead of one leaping to the other. It's also pretty huge. Could run this too. Probably not. How many gems do I have actually left? Mm. Small Hydra? Into big Hydra? I like that more honestly. This way I can also play around Leroy. I think this positioning is actually the best then. Use the small one to maybe snipe a Leroy and then go for small into big. Run to back me, baby. Good thing uh, the blaster came. Where's prediction from two hours ago going? Because TikTok is a Fucker. Actually, I can't close the prediction though. Maybe it's bugged. It's a first. As God damn it would say. <laughs> 